Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario TTYD. Last time we defeated Dupless in Clear Chapter 4, finally. And we finished checking in on Peach as well. Now I'm assuming we're gonna see what Bowser's up to next. Gee, what a surprise. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap, bl the cheap blimp there, come on now! Didn't they already go to Glitzville to fight Mario? You there! Two tickets! One great and evil king and one sweet young thing! <laughs> Good gravy! Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag! Uh, I guess uh, life's too short! Uh... <laughs> he, he bolts for it. What did he just say? Come back here, you, you impudent little cheapskate! Hey, I'm talking to myself! Where, where did Lord Bowser go? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy! Wait. I'll be riding this, baby! I stuck in the Glitzville once before, so I know the way! No problemo! You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma! Ha <laughs> Bowser. You funny guy. Well, wait, wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aww! Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag came and once will go to waste! Does sound delicious. Uh, what a beautiful view. Uh-oh. Huh? That, that don't sound good. What's that warning light? Oh, don't tell me. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> Falls into the ocean. I love it. Can Bowser swim? I wonder. Ready to roll! That's right, baby. We get to play as Bowser again. Oh, this is awesome. I can breathe fire underwater, because I'm a badass! I don't give a fine fuck about him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let me at him, baby. Well, that was dumb. I didn't think Bowser would friggin' plummet like such a friggin' boulder, but I guess I'm not surprised. Bazoopa Bowser! Ooh, give me more steak! More steak! Look how he swims, he looks ridiculous. Am I supposed to go in the warp pipe or something? Nope, I'm just supposed to walk through it. Or not. Alright, where do I go? Oh. <laughs> you take the little spring. Okay. You little fuckers don't stand a chance. Oh, I win. Finish! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, ugh, ah, chew! That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's. Oh, it's Bowser the Koopa King! He lead us, someone help! They run away like they're just so concerned. <laughs> She's got a rock hawk sticker on her head, I love it. There you are, Lord Bowser! What are you doing here? I've been looking all over! If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming! Really? Neat! As for me, Glitchville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! Oh, the fights? I'm sorry. 
Rippers overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious, generally! You have fun too, hmm? Ah, <laughs> he roasts her ass. <laughs> Art Bowser, is this that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. I'm spitting all over my keyboard. This is disgusting. Oh god, it's only a matter of time before my laptop breaks from this shit. Voicing Bowser and Candy Koopa is some of the most ridiculous shit I've ever had to do. And it still hurts my throat. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to voice them very often. Oh, we're back in Twilight Town. Awesome. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? No, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario! We need to get back to Rupor, right? Let's go! Please come back to visit any time you like. Well, I plan to. But first, I actually want to hit the item shop. I want to check some of my items there, and I also might want to pick up something to buy, too. See if there's any super shrooms there, because super shrooms are really going to be kit saving our ass right now. I can't remember if this town sells them. Yeah, they do. Thank God. Oh, hello. I collect the goods, and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. I will, but first I want to check some items. Welcome to Twilight Town Shop. I'm here to buy. No, I don't want to... I wanted to check. I'm here to store. I'm sorry. Alright, so you shall store my Mr. Softener. Yes. Uh, you can store my Point Swap. Uh, you can store my Peachy Peach. Uh, Fire Flower. Yes, you can store that. Um... Everything else is fine, I guess. <laughs> I love just hitting her. Alright, we'll buy maple syrup. Okay. Super Shroom again. And, uh... What are all those shot points you got? How about I set you up with a Super Shroom? Oh, sweet. Give me that Super Shroom. Hey, asshole. Hey, bitch. Just checking points. So do I get a super shroom or what? Oh, I guess they did give me an extra super shroom. Nice. Cool. I should be fine with four for a little while. And I'll take another maple syrup. It's gonna leave a dent in my wallet, but it's fine. And why do I keep accidentally using the hammer? Damn. Alright, I guess we'll, um... Yeah, I guess we'll head out. Nice. I hope I'm not underleveled. Honestly, part of me thinks I'm underleveled. Ugh. We'll see how I do in battles in Chapter 5, and then I'll level grind if I have to. I mean, worst case scenario, if I get really stuck on a part, I'm just gonna level grind. I mean, that's all you have to do in an RPG. But Paper Mario is kind of a hard one to level grind, because the star points you get from it, uh, every time you level up, it diminishes significantly. Battle to battle, I mean. But honestly, like, I was getting small amounts of star points before that my last level up. And afterwards, like, it was even smaller, so I think I'll be fine. Oh my goodness, Mario! Would that be an email from Princess Peach? Let's check, I guess. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exnauts plan to revive this, this thousand-year-old demon and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put aside their horrible plans, Princess Peach. Man, ancient demon spirit? Yeah, it sounds pretty rough, doesn't it? Oh, you've gotta be shitting me. And they still fucking do damage. 
You'd figure at some point they'd stop doing damage to me. No, I guess not. You know what, we'll kill them real quick. We'll kill them, and then take their one star point away from them. Just because I don't like them. There. Ass fuck. Got him. And that's another dead enemy. Thanks for one star point. Alright. Crap. We have to go to the Thousand Year Door and I can never remember which way it fucking is. Uh, let's go this way. Maybe I'm right. I don't even know. Oh, wait. I'm not right. Whoops. Well, actually, maybe I am. Let's go. This way. Ah, it's so good to have Vivian in the party. I really like her as a character. She's honestly really cool. Not not just for, you know, her having the Gemini voice. There is, you know... She is also a good character, just overall. And a good party member, too. Especially with that cheap veil. Oh, God. Oh, let's boost her up right now, since we're here. Hopefully she'll get some more health, because 15 is a little shitty. There we go. Yes, you shall power up this partner. Shazibi! Alright, alright. Shazubi! Mama Luigi! Oh, sorry. There you go again, with that Mama Luigi stuff! So what does Vivian get now? Aw. Get a power up more? No, I'm good. Uh, so she's got 20 HP now, which is a lot better. Fiery Jinx, and it's very expensive. It must be good. Attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. Sounds good to me. And once I boost up my FP a little bit more, I don't think it'll be a problem using that move, honestly. It's expensive, but since Veil is so inexpensive, it really balanced Vivian's usefulness. And even Shade Fist isn't a bad attack, don't get me wrong. So, I really don't think having Vivian in the party will be a problem in the slightest. That's the way to the Fortune Tower, so F that. Uh, this way to the Thousand Year Door. Ugh. Shit. You ever get that feeling like you just need to pick your nose? Like, sometimes you can feel something in there without even having to touch your nose, and you're like, oh god, I want to pick it. And you're like, but it's gross, and then you, then you get alone, and then you pick it anyway. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm alone, so I just picked it. Yes, I just picked my nose, and I admitted it. In a video. Whatever. It's like when N Nintendo Capri Sun burps in half his videos. Like, no one cares. People find it funny. Hell, I find it funny. Kind of gross, maybe, but funny. And you guys can't even hear me picking my nose. I mean, it's not like you're hearing sloshing noises of my finger. Just diving up deeper into my nose. Like... <laughs> Not even, like... You're like, you're hearing all this wetness of me picking my nose. It's not happening like that, so... It's like not even a problem. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Let's see where we go next, this time. Fifth Crystal Star seems to be on an island. That's cool. I do like islands. Ooh, it's a nice blue one. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. We better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds about right. It's a me, Mario. Mamma mia. Oh, here we go again. What? 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 That was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it. How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. 
What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Oh, fuck. All of you ready? And you were there, in front of the TV. You listen up, too. Actually, it's a laptop screen, but alright, I'll listen up. For once. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this, and that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze, and sealed the exit. From this I gathered that the crystal stars could not distinguish good from evil. So if they are all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or evil, like Dragon Balls. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It'd be awful if we found them all, only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought, too. But further research suggests we can't do that. Of course we can. Ugh, God, this hurts. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, this, the power will, to keep the, de the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? <laughs> of course it is! Of course! It's the thousand fucking year! The fact that those goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere in Keelhaul Key. Keelhaul Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits, for hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Oh, thank God, my fucking throat. Alright, I'll see you guys next time for Mario TTYD. So long.